Uh, fail to load model named data. Oh yeah, I got this error. Uh. And that's the thing I said, like in the core data stack. Uh, and uh, on line 26, uh, yeah, before I got this error, something wrong with the persistence container, seems. Okay. When you run this in production, does it work? You're using this in production. A breakpoint here. Will I get here? Uh, I think I commented that, that out. If you, uh, so on the left panel, if you open the repos folder, and there says places ripple, and you scroll down. Uh, here? Yeah, so if I do this, it probably will re reach the breakpoint. Let's see. So after you finish loading, you will call this method, right? Uh, after I retrieved the things from network, and uh, yeah. I'm trying it's to persist. failing to load the container data. Where is the, yeah, the data, data model? model. Uh, this here. here, like data. Yeah. Ah, OK. So this is something that you may have issues when you have the core data model in a separate framework. OK. So the core data model is not in the application module, it's in the data. Yes, module. I created this by myself, yes. Okay, so I think core data cannot find it because you are calling it from the application module mm. and you cannot find it in the application module. Let's see if we can fix that problem. When you are in the application module trying to load core data, by its name here, just the name data, you would try to find it in the main bundle, in the main application bundle. But your data model is not in the main bundle. It's in the data module bundle. So I think we need to load your data model from the bundle. Let me see if I can remember the, the method for doing this. Oh, this is how we do it in the program. Let me see if we can find it. Okay. We need to get the bundle. Let bundle for this class. What is the name of this class? Core data stack. So I'm using the core data stack because I'm getting the bundle where this class lives, which is the same as the bundle where the data is, right? Yes. They're both in the same target. All right. And what is the name? Data. Extension. OK. And we'll get the bundle here. OK. Let me move this. Get it out of the way. So if this crashes, is because we're not finding the data model for that bundle. But when you create a persistent store, we can pass the model now. I'm telling you precisely, this is the model I want to use. So if they cannot find, tell it explicitly. I think you should use model, not bundle. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> That's it. Okay. We can find model, first of all. Okay, he did find the model, otherwise he would have crashed. Right, right. Okay. Now we have another problem. 
uh, I've seen this too. I was confused. All right. Let's look now at the data. We have only one entity. How is it configured? Name. City place. City place. Cold gen manual. Module, do I need to select current product module? No, you shouldn't have to. What is it defined? The class. This is the class definition. Correct? Uh, yes. Ah, let's give it a name. You, you need to give the Objective C name so Objective C can, can see this class. Oh, yeah. Well, I, would, well, I was trying to debug. Uh, and uh, there was an answer say, oh, you should comment this out. <laughs> and I think I commented <laughs> out. <laughs> and it didn't solve the issue. All right. Uh, it's not crashing anymore. OK. So that's it. Since Objective-C, like Cordata is implementing the Objective-C. Right. And it's trying to access this class at runtime. So it needs to be exposed to Objective-C with the same name it's looking for, which needs to match there in the configuration. You see, this could take me hours to debug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. And also, mm -hmm. since you are trying to access the core data stack from a different module, you need to make sure that you are loading it from the right bundle. So there were two problems here. Yeah, yeah, probably would take you hours to fix. <laughs> yeah, like, I cannot search something specific, say, oh, I'm using core data in a different module, and how do I it just doesn't come up because most tutorials you will find in the internet they have the core data in the same module like you have only one module an application module and everything is there and everything works beautifully but when you start breaking down into modules you will start seeing that some configurations will not work by default like here you will not find the data model by default in the same bundle so that's why there are apis where you can pass more details to the framework when you have a custom module, you need to explicitly tell it where the module is. I mean, this is so helpful. Now I have a better understanding about the bundle too. Okay, it always confused me. What is a bundle? <laughs> <laughs> so each module has a bundle where you have assets there, like storyboards, images, and colors, assets in general the core data modules. And each module will have its own bundle. OK. So here we're telling explicitly, I want the model from this bundle. So regardless now, we can use this core data stack from any module, and it will work. OK? OK. So maybe that's the problem you were having with this description. So, I, I believe so, yeah. Let's run the app again and see if we get here. I usually don't do this. I don't mutate the, the description that is there. It worked, right? I usually create a new one. But if you prefer, this should work now as well. Oh, it's not I prefer. Like That's Apple's code. <laughs> <laughs> they both work. Yeah. 